Uh, how's the you just heard Kramer talking yeah. about it and, and some references to Larry Fink's uh, comments. I think they, yeah. they ring true with you about the spending yeah. under the Biden administration could be uh, could provide an additional lift for stocks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for having me. And I am excited about the market prospects like Jim. Uh, the Nets are a different story. But certainly, when we think about what's happened in the markets, um, really, it's been pretty consistent in that the market has been looking towards the second half of 2021, really for some time now since the vaccines have been announced um, in November. And so what's been driving that? Well, of course, we have the reopening story with vaccines on the, the horizon, perhaps some form of herd immunity and a real uh, unleashing of pent up demand by the consumer. But this is being supported by not only low rates from the Fed, you know, they're committed to the zero bound um, through 2021 at least, uh, although their, their notes say through 2023. And then of course, um, the Georgia races really added a boost to not only the markets, but this value trade in particular. Uh, we saw um, the advent or the, the prospects of stimulus uh, really have risen. And we'll hear from the Biden administration today, but uh, it's not only stimulus in, in the form of COVID relief, we may also get further fiscal spending uh, and the likelihood of, of more of that passing at least has now risen. So this, this backdrop with uh, reaccelerating re growth in 2021, uh, rates remaining low, and stimulus being added to the system. That's a recipe we think um, is pretty good for risk assets broadly. I've heard it posited by other people that when we get the full reopening and we maybe get a little of the reflation trade going, then it, then it might, will it be over or will it just be a pause at, at that point? Yeah, you know, it's it's a great question and it's one that we're hearing more and more also. When, when does this stop? When does this reflation trade, rotation trade, whatever you want to call it, um, really start to come to an end. Um, and we have kind of two thoughts on that. One, it, it could be when we do start to see the whites of inflation, the whites of the eyes of inflation. And really, the inflation rates thus far have stayed well below or below the Fed's 2% target for some time, uh, really haven't crossed that 2% threshold over the last 10 years, except for a handful of times. So we haven't yet gotten sustained inflation, but the ingredients are in place, you know, that, that growth rebounding, um, rates low, stimulus, all of that could set up a perfect storm for inflationary pressures to rise. And if the Fed changes its tune, even, even in words rather than action, uh, that could create some turmoil for the market. So, you know, we don't expect that, um, certainly not through 2021, perhaps as you're heading into 2022, we start seeing some of that, or maybe even the end of this year to some extent. Uh, the other factor we're looking at is when do growth rates uh, really peak? And we're, we're certainly not there yet. We're certainly um, waiting for this reopening to happen in earnest. We expect robust growth rates through this year. But at some point, we will see a slowing. And that could also be, you know, when the market, that inflection point could also be when the market turns as well. So keep out, keep a lookout for those two factors. Um, but in, in the interim, uh, we certainly would use any periods of consolidation near term as tactical opportunities to really position yourself for the year ahead. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.